helping, but supporting our fellow YouTubers, the Hoppy Kids. Hoppy kids. The Spooky Kids are here. They're excited to meet them. They had a nice little show, and now they're just behind us. Over there. Where are they? There they are. They're over there. So we're waiting in line to meet them. Soon we'll have our own meet and greet. Soon. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. Hey guys, Spooky here, and we are still decorating the house, but I wanted to take a break and tell you guys a little tea about what happened last weekend. What the hell? You didn't introduce me? You were in the video. <coughs> Spooky and the bats. And zero. For you guys that didn't know, yes, he has a pumpkin at the end of his nose. It's not like Rudolph. Oh, you want to see what's in my nose? Anyway, so last weekend we decided to take the kids to see the Hobby Kids. For you guys that don't know who the Hobby Kids are, they're a family that do YouTube. Uh, for you guys who have kids, they would like them. They do funny little videos. Uh, there's three boys, their mom, their dad, their grandfather, their grandmother, and a dog. Wow. So, floppy. Mm -hmm. So, we went to go see them. Uh, they had a lot of fun. There was games and cupcakes and photo ops. And then finally, the family came out. They did a little show. And then they set up for uh, photos with everybody. And everything was completely free. So the kids were excited. And it was funny because it was like they were meeting Michael Jackson. Like kids were falling out, screaming. It was hilarious. Anyway, Cats so. Cats and dogs living together. Anyway. So the Hobby family themselves, super nice. A lot of fun. Great. However. 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 This bitch. We're never going to be monetized. No. Um, so anyway, we're standing in line. Because we had a number to go meet the Hobby family so the kids could get their pictures taken. And one of the uh, volunteers, all the volunteers, let me say, were super nice except for this one. She's walking back and forth, back and forth. And I notice that she's just in a bad mood. I'm like, oh, somebody's having a bad day. And when she walked past me a couple times, I realized that her, eye, her mascara had smudged right here on her face. And I'm like, oh my god, she's already in a bad mood. Somebody's going to end up taking a picture of her. She's going to see it later. She's going to see this black smudge on her face. And she's going to be even more in a bad mood. So it's like, let me be a nice girl and tell her about this. Oh, hell no. Did you hear him? Anyway. Uh, I said, let me be a nice girl. And I'm going to tell her, hey. I even stopped her. I was like, hey, sorry to bother you. But you have a black smudge right here. I even took my phone out ready and everything so she could use it as a can as a as a mirror so she could be like smudge gone and keep walking well i told her and she goes that's not my concern like real nasty real real nasty and walks away i'm like really that's what i get for trying to help you out so i'm like okay i'm just gonna let it go we're here for the kids to meet the hobby family i'm not gonna pay any attention blah 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 so we're standing there and lo and behold, the same girl comes and starts arguing with a mom who's right there. She has her kids sitting on the ground and she's waiting in line. And as people are walking by, she's asking what their number is instead of gathering all her kids together and trying to, you know, sm smuggle into the line. Fine with that. But that lady was not fine with that. She was so nasty. And even then I was like, okay, she's having a bad day. It's none of my business. I'm just going to whatever. I'm not paying attention to it. I'm just going to keep on going. So one of the spooky kids is angry. Um, so I was like, whatever, we're getting farther in the line, farther in the line. I would say we were like three more people ahead of us until we saw the hobby family. And then here comes that girl again. And she's fighting with the mom in front of me now. And she's screaming at this lady. I'll kick you out of line. I'm going to go get my manager. I'm going to kick you out of line. And I'm like, what is this girl's problem? Still staying out of it because you know, guys, you guys know I have attitude problems. So I'm like, I'm staying out of it. I'm staying out of it. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, I hope this mom gives this girl what she deserves. So I'm just listening to her. Finally, the mom's like, you need to relax because you've been mean to like every person in this line. And the lady's like, I have not been rude. You're the rude one, blah, blah, blah. I had to say something right there. I was like, no, 
you have been rude. You've been rude to this lady. You've been rude to me. You've been rude to the lady over there. You've been rude to every single person in this line for no reason whatsoever. We're here with kids to meet people. This is, these are the people that you are representing and you're being this nasty to kids and their parents. I had, uh, whatever. Then, <laughs> I don't even, I, don't, I have to try to say this with a straight face. So uh, after I gave it to her, she turns around and she goes, was construction apparently i turn around and she goes at least my eyebrows are real <laughs> i have to laugh because as a girl if that's the only thing that she can say about me from head to toe head to toe is that her eyebrows are real then i think i'm doing pretty well what you think he yeah, ain't paid attention. Right. he said i'm right and honey my eyebrows are real i just darkened them with makeup and if you knew anything about makeup you would know that. But anyway, so she kept going on and on, talking about all this crap. I'm not going to try to curse, but she kept going on and on. She kept coming back because I was like, I guess I was, I guess I was making her more and more mad because I didn't, I wasn't going to let her piss me off. I'm there with my kids. So I laughed at her. I'm like, okay, why don't you go do your job? This is your job. And she's like, no, I'm volunteering. I'm really a model. I'm like, honey, are you an unemployed model? Because if you were, you would not be here at Walmart representing somebody else but she was nasty but anyway bitch. yeah anyways then magically she disappeared never to be seen again after being disgusting to everybody and then finally went up saw the hobby family hobby papa was with with my oldest and he was super sweet to him so thank you hobby papa and everybody got they signed a poster for them they gave them bracelets and stickers and I mean the whole experience besides that girl well, was great they probably did you know, the kids are sick now that's probably where they got sick because there was just a sea of children so that's probably where they got sick and well, I hopefully right. and hopefully the hobby kids didn't get sick but they were using like hand sanitizer when they met them but um, overall had a great time with the hobby kids I can't wait to have a meet and greet of our own we're actually talking to a business right now i haven't told you about it yet but there is a business that wants us to come and do a meet and greet so there'll be more information about that later i'm sorry well i guess i'm not gonna be able to hashtag the hobby kids in this video considering the bad words and the mention of porn but anyway um what was i saying yeah we're gonna do a meet and greet and wherever that girl is, if you happen to see this video, you didn't phase me. I just wanted to thank the hobby kids for coming out and having us meet them. And thanks for coming out. You know. Oh, also there was like a Barbie event there too for you guys who like Barbie. Check that out. Anyways, I hear the littlest spooky baby upset, so we gotta go. Bye.